poisons, and other medicines upon them, as well as chirurgery as physic. By art, likewise we make them greater or smaller than their kind is, and contrarywise dwarf them and stay their growth. We make them more fruitful and bearing than their kind is, and contrarywise barren and not generative. Also we make them different in color, shape, activity, many ways. We find means nonetheless. So the animal parts are used to make men, and the men's parts are used to make animals. So you have selective breeding, genetic manipulation, chimerical creation, all to create what Francis Bacon viewed as an utopia, Stephen King's Pet Cemetery. Crazy shit from the 1620s, obviously written by a madman. But all your modern philosophers think this is the source of all wisdom. But it only gets worse. Because what Francis Bacon was talking about was based on utter misogyny, where men would use these animals to reproduce without women, by having sex with them, or by using them to carry the seeds of man within their bellies, so that a pig could give birth to the next scientist who would rule the new Atlantis of Boykenville. The description goes on for chapter after chapter. They've got everything on this island. He doesn't describe the sex toys they've engendered or discovered because you begin to realize they're having sex with each other because they don't need women. And when they want, they have sex with the animal. And they send out secret missions around the globe to gather more stuff and bring it back to put it in their pens and cages and rooms and ovens. All this stuff resides in a place called Solomon's House. Sometimes it's also called the College of the Six Days Works because man is considered God and God does not exist. And it's a mockery because this is the institution dedicated to the study of the works and the creatures of the new God, man himself, who never rests. And that's how Stalin got his idea based on a species of hybrid human my executrix producer has been doing some research for me. She found a YouTube video. She'll publish that YouTube link up on both pages of my timeline now. And it's about Zana, the ape woman of Abkhazia, a hybrid Alma. That's the Russian word for Bigfoot. And this Siberian ape woman could outrun the majority of vehicles on the road today. But she drowned her baby. That's where Stalin got his idea. Because they kept her in a cage. That I can get rid of all of the Russians, who are just Asiatic Slavs, under my rule as a Caucasian white man from she the mountains of the Caucasus covered region. And all hair, uh, hair on her face. Over there in Chechnya. Hair on her hands, he both sides. Georgia. Hair everywhere. But all of those areas just are like in the, the Caucasus uh, region people. where the very word Caucasian itself comes from. They're, he viewed himself freaks. as yeah, the white European ruler of the Slavic Asiatic Empire of subhumans that he would downbreed so to like serve him link. at it's his will based on Francis Bacon's philosophy. And the Russians should get down on their knees and thank the National Socialist Third Reich for destroying so much of Stalin's infrastructure that he was unable to pursue this Baconite vision. Bacon's vision of science systemically prodding and poking nature to get it to reveal its secrets so that those can then be managed for the yield of new goods, medicines, and technologies for mankind. And of course, it was written so provocatively that you get to realize, of course, exactly what was realized by a transformation of the earth as a nurturing mother and womb of life into a source of and torturing and burning women alive. We're gonna get back to talk about that, stay with us.